I am Marcus James Dixon with Gold Derby, and we are happy to welcome Nick Murray to our director's panel for RuPaul's Drag Race on VH1. Hi there. Um, Nick, you've won this category twice before in 2018 and 2021. Um, what does it mean to be recognized again by your peers in the TV Academy? It's, um, it's a little overwhelming at times. I mean, I didn't expect this um, yesteryear as a, as, a, as a teenager wanting to direct television many, many moons ago. Um, so this is beyond my wildest dreams. Um, I'm living the dream, <laughs> if you will. Um, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm flattered, humbled by it all. Um, and, it's, and it's so exciting as well. Uh, and, and for the show, just to receive all these accolades year in, year out, um, you know, it, it's, it's unbelievable. And this time you're nominated for directing the season 14 episode, Moulin Rue, The Rusical. And there is a 10 right. minute, there's a 10 minute production, production number uh, toward the end of the episode that would normally take what months to produce if it was on Broadway, but you guys just had days oh, to put this yeah. together. Well, we had, um, there, was a, there was a degree of uh, a pre-production, of course, with all these things, um, but the actual uh, choreography, uh, once the music had been approved and, and, and everything, uh, the choreography, set design, lighting, and actually shooting it, um, uh, we shot it over, you know, 12 hours. It was what all was... It was all done over 12 hours. <laughs> That's crazy. Rehearsed the previous day uh, came in, camera blocking, lighting rehearsal, um, and camera rehearsal, and then we shot it pretty much as live, which, um, which is a, a, a testament to the, the crew, the most amazing crew that we have on the, on the show here. Are the musical episodes, are they, are they like the most technically challenging? For me, they're, the, they're, they're, they're my favorite part of, of shooting the show, whether it's shooting Rue, whether it's shooting a Rusical or the lip syncs. Um, I, I really enjoy it and I, 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 um, I get excited yeah, you know, at the prospect. So we got another, another music number or performance to, to shoot. Uh, it, yeah, it's one of my favorite bits of, uh, of directing the show. Um, and I, every year I like to think that we, that we add a little bit more production value, a little bit more flair, visual flair, um, a little small nuances in the way we move a camera around um, so just to, to convey the, the, these great performances that, um, that our girls give. And this was also the episode that ended with Bosco opening the candy and revealing the golden chocolate bar. That was such a fun moment. Everyone That's was hearing <laughs> it. <laughs> You know, it was the, over a year ago we shot this, and I'm like, oh yeah, it was the chocolate bar. <laughs> Do you think <laughs> it's that's chocolate? A... Finally, <laughs> yes, all the memes, all the memes. It's chocolate. Um, it's chocolate. Yeah. Is this a twist? You think you guys will bring back? Sometimes you you do twists just for one season. Uh, possibly. You know, never say never. I mean, you know, every year um, we always come up with something new. Uh, and compelling and interesting and, and invariably uh, super fun, um, you know, to keep to keep the, everyone interested in, in in the show and what have you. Um, uh, it was it was really exciting because um, I didn't know who had it. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, there was only a select few on the on the um, on, on the on the on the production team that knew who had it. So it was a big surprise for all of us. Um, you know, and the, we'd, we'd program the lights to turn gold, as you uh, saw. So um, the um, <laughs> the lighting people were were ready to to hit the the gold um, the gold shiny button um, if chocolate was revealed. <laughs> um, my favorite of the season was Willow Pill, and I was I was so happy that she won season fourteen. Um, right. You as a director, do you ever get personally invested in the competition aspect? Or like, do you find yourself rooting for one over another? Um, I mean, you know, not not in particular. I mean, they're all they're all so good, and you know, and they're all winners in their own way. So, um, you know, and I, I I'm always interested and in, invested in in their journey through the whole show and and hearing the the, the stories uh, and seeing them. You know, a lot of you know they they come on, they change within within the space of a whole season. Uh, and evolve in, into in, into better better people, better you know more more improved versions of themselves, more authentic versions of themselves. Um, it, it's it's wonderful. So, but but to be personally rooting, I mean, you know, I had, I had a little thing for Lady Camden. I mean, you know, I am British. Yeah. 
Um, I thought her finale performance was was incredible. Um, uh, as was Willow's, obviously. Um, but I, I did um, I, I did think uh, that that she she really slayed that her original song in the in the finale. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they both did an outstanding job um, in the final lip sync. And uh, Willow just had it, you know. But Willow was I, I spent a lot of the season laughing with Willow. Uh, mm -hmm. Very super creative, fun with with a, an incredible you know backstory. Um, mm -hmm. It was it was super fun season really. And season fourteen was also the year of, of trans representation. Some contestants were open about it before the show began began, and others came out on the show or later. Um, Drag Race really has become the safe space where people feel comfortable in their own skin. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, we, I mean, right, right from the get go, that's been um, something that that we've tried to exude on the show, and it's it's something that is inherent to Drag Race. You know, be your authentic self. It's a super safe place to be yourself, uh, and and to convey your stories to everybody. Um, it's it's something that that both on and off the screen is 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 very very Drag Race um it, it's super important um we love it it's a real family feel on set in front of the camera and behind the camera uh and uh, you know the the acceptance and the inclusion of everybody it's 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 the number one thing on the show i think you know be yourself feel it's a very safe place to to tell your your story and i think you know it's one of the, the special things about drag race is that you can come on the show feel totally safe and be vulnerable and be open. And, you know, we want to hear your story and then we want to tell your story to, to inspire, you know, other people who may be in the same situation. Um, if I have my numbers right, Drag Race has won 24 Emmys. And if it wins six oh, more- I thought it was 25. You could be right. It's a lot. I know, so so many. You know, and you can lose count. <laughs> your the show is so close to becoming one of the top five most. That's right. I read that. Yeah. Uh, I think it just needs five or six more to to become one of those top shows. It's been on. For, it's will will have been on. You know, fourteen years, um, fourteen seasons. Um, they they shot the first. I've been involved since season three, uh, but they shot the, I think the first the first season in the basement at World of Wonder or something like that you know they always said it was this little show that could and you know in the space of uh you know 12 13 years it has, has become literally a, a, a global phenomenon and, and i think the most culturally um important uh show well, one of the most culturally important tv shows of the of this generation that was really evident when I went to DragCon for the first time. It was it was insane. It, isn't it? Isn't it insane? It, it, yep. It's everywhere, and and it, and it's and it's totally mainstream now, and it's wonderful. Uh, and and you know you have kids going, you have you have octogenarians going. Uh, you know, I get into a taxi in New York. Uh, oh, what do you do? And we end up. Oh my God, Drag Race all over the world. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm going to Iceland next week. Um, I guarantee I'll be talking, you know, in a bar with some locals about drag race everywhere. It is it is truly uh, a global phenomenon. And, you know, that's down to root. Final question is, you know, you have so many guest stars on the show. Is, is there a dream one or two names that you, you could throw out as people that you would love to have on in the future? Um, everyone talks about having Cher on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not quite sure that'll happen, but it would be unbelievable if it did. Um, you had our family on, right? Was Cher's family members on? No, we had Rue's family members on. Okay. Um, Cher, I, you know, Diana Ross. <laughs> you know, I'm just thinking of all these, these, uh, you know, icons that Rue's favorites, I think, to have on the show. Um, we've had some great guests on, though. I mean, Cameron Diaz was one of my favorite, and Jeff Goldblum had everybody in stitches. He was quite a wonder. It was a wonderful day on set when he was on. Nancy Pelosi. Oh, Nancy Pelosi twice. That's right. Yeah, yeah. We've had. Uh, yeah. Well, Nick, uh, congrats again, and best of Thank luck you. At, at the Emmys. Um, stick around for yes. our group panel in a little bit. Thanks for having me on board.